In addition to winning and losing pitchers, the possibility exists that every baseball game will also result in a pitcher earning what is called a save. Now in order to earn a save, there are two sets of requirements that a pitcher must meet. The pitcher must meet all three of the first set, which are he is the finishing pitcher in a game that his team won. The second one is that he is not the winning pitcher, so you cannot both win and save the same game. And the third is that he is credited with at least one-third of an inning pitched. Now, if the pitcher meets all three of those requirements, he must also meet one of the following three in order to earn the save. So the first one is that he enters the game with a lead of no more than three runs, and he pitches for at least one inning. The second one that he could meet is that he enters the game, regardless of what the count is, with the potential tying run either on base, at bat, or on deck. So we're saying that the potential tying run is either already on base or one of the first two batters that he would face. The third way that he could earn a save is that he just simply pitches for three innings. So it wouldn't matter what the score is. It could be 17 to nothing the entire time, but as long as he pitches for those three innings, then he earns that save. Now the first situation described here, pitching one inning with less than a with a three run lead or less, is the most common type of save you will see in the game today. Teams usually have one pitcher who they have dubbed their closer, so usually if the team is leading by three runs or less, the closer will be brought in to pitch the ninth inning and hopefully for them close out the game. So in addition to simply counting the number of saves, that a player has over a season, we can also track a few other things related to them. So if our closer comes into the game with his team winning by three runs, this means that he has the opportunity in earning a save. And so therefore, this is what we call a save situation, which is to simply enter the game, and if you were to complete it successfully, you would earn a save. If, however, he were to enter in a save situation, and he, the pitcher would give up enough runs so that the game would then either be tied or that his team would be losing, we would say that this closer has blown the save. So then an alternate way of coming up with the number of save situations that a pitcher has been in over whatever span of time, we can add his number of saves plus his number of blown saves, and that will give us his number of save situations. Another stat would then be whatever the pitcher's save percentage is. And so we can do this at the end of the year. We could take his number of saves and divide it by the number of save situations he was in, and then that will give us his save percentage. And so that is saves.